Hello everyone, and welcome to another A Thousand Ways tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to apply symbols to your 3D cube effect here in Illustrator. First off, let it be known that this technique was used for the A Thousand Ways logo. Now I'm going to create a new document, which I'll do so by pressing Command N on my keyboard, or if you're a PC user, press Control N, and apply your settings to your document. I'm happy with what I have, so I'll click OK. Next up, grab your rectangle tool here. I'm going to create a square, so I'll hold down my Shift key while bringing my cursor across the page. I'll make it around 150 points. I'm going to remove this stroke here by setting it to None and filling it with a random color. Once that's done, I'm not going to really do anything with this square right now, so I'm going to go to my Layers panel and simply double click Layer 1. And I'm going to name this Layer Cube because this is the square we'll apply our cube effect. Now, I want to turn the visibility off so we won't see this square here, so I'll click this eye icon. Next up, I'm going to go to the bottom of our Layers panel here, and I'm going to click this icon to create a new layer. I'm going to double click layer 2 and name this layer symbols. Once that's done, I'm going to create more squares by holding down my shift key and making it about 150 points just like my previous square. Now I'm going to apply a different fill and choose my selection tool which I'll grab by pressing V on my keyboard and holding down my Option or Alt key to duplicate this square. Once that's done, I'm going to apply a fill of magenta and duplicate this layer by holding Option or Alt and applying a different fill. Once that's done, we want to bring up our Symbols panel, which is this icon here. If you don't see it within your workspace, simply go to Window, Symbols, and click. Now once that's done, you want to drag and drop your symbols here. And I'm just going to name it the color that I've applied to each box. Make sure your type is set to Graphic. Press OK. Do the same for the next two boxes. Okay, now that that's done, you can actually delete these boxes since it's already saved as symbols. But me personally, I never know when I'm going to need to use them again, so I just keep them within a separate layer. So we'll go to our Layers panel, and since we're no longer going to be using the Symbols layer, we'll just click this eye icon and turn off the visibility. And turn on the visibility for the cube. Now we'll select our square here and apply our cube effect by going to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Once that's done, make sure your preview box is selected and set up your cube to your liking. I think this is pretty good. Apply Extrude Depth of 150 and now click Map Art. Now this is where you'll apply your symbols or colors to each side of your cube. Now cube has six sides, but we can only view three. So this red border here shows us which section we're viewing here in this dialog box. So we're going to apply one of our colors to this area. And as you can see, our green has been added. Now instead of going to the next surface using this arrow icon here, we're going to go to previous surface. And the reason why that is, is because area 6 and 5 are these two areas here. As you can see, 6 is actually our top square. 
So we're going to apply our other color, which is red, and then click Previous once again. And as you can see, it's the last surface here, and apply your last symbol. And now all our colors has been applied. I'm happy with that, so I'll click OK. And I'm happy with these settings, so I'm going to click OK again. Now you see that we have different colors applied to our 3D cube. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.